Hi everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action, which will be almost a week from now at the time of this recording on July the 19th after the All-Star break, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section right here. Again, look at all these tabs across the top here. All these are wonderful tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so there's a full slate of games for next week. It's Again, it's July the 19th. We're going to take over five of those games. And let's see the first game we want to look at as we scroll down through. Philadelphia Phillies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Phillies come in average down, coming off of a loss to Oakland, 3-3 three and three over the last six. And they have the best record in the league right now, while the Pirates are burning hot. Uh, they have won four out of their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see that the teams have been trending in games under the line. The Phillies, four out of the last six under, and the Pirates, the last two games, have been under the line. Uh, the score prediction has not yet been posted, probably because the game's a little bit too far out. But you can check back in later, uh, you know, probably right after the All-Star break, really, and then the, the uh, score predictions will be up. Uh, on the power ranks indicator, you see the Pirates are at plus 25. Well, the Phillies are at plus 11. Okay, and if we want to look here at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams this season, they, they, they played four games previously in Philadelphia, and it was 2-2 two and two in those contests. And if you look at the, the scoring, though, the scores were low. It was um, seven runs or less in four and three out of the four games, with the other game being an 11-run total. If we look at the volatility oscillator, how consistent are the two teams? See, the Phillies are one of the most consistent teams in the league with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 29, while the Pirates are hovering right around plus. They've been really hovering around 0 to 5 all season long, and they're at 5 right now. Um, in the end here, I think the Phillies are going to take this one. I mean, the Phillies have a better road record than the Pirates' home record. The Phillies are still the best team in the league. Let's go with the Phillies in a game under the line. Tampa Bay and the New York Yankees. Here's a good battle in the AL East. The Yankees come in at uh, average status, 3-3 three three over the last six. They are second in the division, just barely behind the Orioles. And Tampa Bay is fourth in division, 10 and a half games out. And they are 3-3 three three over the last six and 3-1 and one over the last four. If you take a look at the over-under, uh, both teams under in two out of their last three games. That is the trend at the moment. And you look at the power ranks indicator, both teams on the upward trend. Tampa has skyrocketed up to plus 22, while the Yankees are right now at plus 14. Um, the Yankees have a substantial edge in this scoring differential of plus 102 to, plus, or to minus 62. And also, they are very good at home at 25-19. And the Rays are pretty solid on the road, though, at 21-21. and 21. If you take a look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you can see that the teams have played a lot of games already this season. In fact, I have to scroll way down. They have played nine games already this season, with the Yankees winning five out of those nine contests. Again, I think this is going to be the Yankees game. In fact, the Yankees at home in a game under the line. Detroit and Toronto, we're not going to look at that one. We are going to look at, uh, no, not this one either. St. Louis and Atlanta. The Braves come in average up 4-2 and two over the last six, and they are still nine games behind the Phillies in the division in the uh, NL East. And the Cardinals are coming in ice cold down, losers of the last three and two and four over the last six. If you look at the totals, uh, the teams have been trending in games pretty much over the line. You can see uh, both teams in their last six, uh, four of them have gone over the line. Power ranks, uh, both teams on a little bit of a downward trend. Braves are coming back up slightly. They were at plus 17 now, but back up to plus 21. But they were previously up at plus 29. And you see that the Bra uh, Braves, the Cardinals are on a steep downward spiral, uh, 27 down to 13. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, they've played three games previously at the end of June, with the Cardinals winning two out of those three games at home. But all this, the games were relatively low scoring, all eight runs or less, and the the final game of that series was only a five-run total. If you look at the stability factor, 
Both teams are moderately consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Atlanta more so at plus 14 compared to plus 5. The Cardinals are 24 and 24 in the row, and the Braves are really good at home at 29 and 17. And the Braves have an advantage on in the scoring differential at plus 66 to minus 42. So I like the Braves on this one, but I'm going to pass on the over-under. Baltimore and Texas. The Orioles, despite being first in the league, or first in the AL East, excuse me, are struggling at the moment. There's no doubt about it. If you see this dead stash, one and five over their last six games, and they're just simply not scoring any runs. If you look at this here in their last four, only three runs total. The offense just is not there right now. Texas is average stash, losers of their last two, but they are four and two over their last six. If you look at the over-under, Texas involved in games over the line. Baltimore trending in games under in two out of the last three. From the power ranks indicator, no surprise that Baltimore is very low at the moment because their recent play at plus one. And Texas is at plus 16 previously at plus 28 just a few days ago. So they're also on the downward trend. Um, the scoring differential, it's all Baltimore plus 84 to plus six. And um, Baltimore is... Also, very, very good on the road. 28-16 on the road. Texas is three games over 500 at home. If we look at the stability factor, uh, Baltimore was as high as plus 18, but because of their recent play over the last, well, actually, this is almost a month ago, but over the last month, they've dropped down to plus 11, while the Rangers are now at plus 8. I like Baltimore, though, to get back on track in this one. I think they're going to get their offense back in gear. So let's go. Baltimore and over the line. Chicago and Kansas City. San Francisco, Colorado. Again, you can look at any one of these games that you like. Of course, they're all there for you. Um, I'm just picking out the ones I think are going to be the, the key games for the day. Boston and Los Angeles. Houston and Seattle. Houston and Seattle. This will be a good one. Um, they come in the top two teams in the AL West. Houston burning hot 4-2 and two over their last six. Seattle averaged down 3-3 three three over the last six. Seattle had a slim edge in the division by a single game at the moment. In the over-under, you can see the teams have been trending in games over the line, 9 out of the last 12. Um, on the power ranks indicator, Houston with a plus 26 to plus 10 edge. You see Seattle on the steep downward decline as of late. Um, if you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, See, the team have played quite a few games already this season. Look at this. I mean, going down to May, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games played this month. And it's been pretty much all been Seattle. Seattle winning five out of the seven. But if you look at the total scores, pretty low scoring. I mean, there was only one game that was a, a nine run output. All the rest, really, really low. In fact, in the seven games, it's only been average around six runs total. Um, Houston is poor on the road, though, at only 22 and 25. Seattle has been excellent at home, 30 and 18. Um, I like the trend to continue with Seattle playing really well against Houston, particularly now that they're at home. Uh, let's go with Seattle and a game under the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for July the 19th. Again, happy betting. See you next time.